in our previous exploration, we marveled at ASML's strategic mastery in redefining supplier management and thus becoming the world market leader in what is arguably the most critical step in making semiconductors. Now we look eastward, where Japan and China are making significant strides in the same arena, each forging their paths amidst the backdrop of technological evolution and geopolitical tensions. Welcome back to Procurement in the Park, where we unravel the complexities of the global tech landscape. I'm Christian Shu, and today I'm here to guide you through a sequel to our series focusing on the semiconductor supply chain. Today, we embark on a journey through the tech sectors of Japan and China, illuminated by insights from two distinct Economist articles from the same February 17th edition. First, let's delve into Japan's semiconductor resurgence, a tale of innovation and strategic triumph. Companies like Tokyo Electron have seen their value skyrocket, with the share price leaping by 13% on February 13th, heralding a new era for Japan's tech industry. This remarkable growth is not isolated. Avantest, Disco, Lasertech, and Screen Holdings join Tokyo Electron in a formidable display of market dominance, doubling their combined market capitalization over the last year. These companies, once grappling with a post-pandemic slump, are now thriving, pushed up by a global demand for more complex chips capable of powering the next generation of artificial intelligence. Tokyo Electron, for example, commands an impressive 90% market share in photoresist coating tools, while Disco excels in precision cutting and grinding tools essential for chip making. Yet, this resurgence is not without its challenges. The fragility of international relations, particularly the tensions between the US and China, casts a shadow over Japan's semiconductor boom. The potential for broader export restrictions looms large, threatening to disrupt this delicate balance. Turning our attention to China, we witness a nation's determined pursuit to master semiconductor technology, a journey marked by both ambition and vulnerability. The US's export restrictions in 2022 served as a wake-up call, prompting a frenzied acquisition of advanced lithography machines in a bid to circumvent impending limitations. China's response has been multifaceted, ramping up its information innovation project to diminish reliance on foreign semiconductor technology. This national drive has transformed from a state-led initiative to a critical industry imperative, aiming to fortify China's semiconductor supply chain. Despite the shroud of secrecy surrounding China's semiconductor advancements, the nation has made notable progress. Huawei's development of a 7 nanometer chip and rumored advancements towards 5 nanometer chips exemplify this relentless pursuit. However, the absence of advanced lithography equipment remains a formidable barrier to reaching the technology frontier. In a bid to overcome these obstacles, China is nurturing its domestic semiconductor ecosystem, with companies like Huawei leading the charge in fostering innovation and collaboration. The growth of Chinese chip-making equipment manufacturers, such as AMEC and Naura, underscores a gradual but determined shift towards self-sufficiency. As we weave together the narratives of Japan and China, 
a complex picture emerges. One of technological prowess, strategic foresight and geopolitical maneuvering. Both nations, in their unique ways, are pivotal players in the global semiconductor ecosystem, complementing and challenging the dominance of giants like ASML. This tale of two countries underscores the critical importance of strategic procurement, supplier relationship management and innovation in navigating the ever-evolving tech landscape. Japan's technological ascendancy and China's strategic push towards autonomy offer profound lessons in resilience, collaboration and the art of turning challenges into opportunities. As we conclude this episode, let's reflect on the broader implications of Japan and China's semiconductor strategies. Their journeys highlight the interconnectedness of the global tech industry, where collaboration and competition coexist, shaping the future of technology in unforeseen ways. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the semiconductor sectors of Japan and China. I am Christian Xu and this has been Procurement in the Park in sunny Santa Cruz.